Hello friends, in our last lecture we discussed one example for uh, division. Uh, today again we are going to discuss another example. Uh, today we are going to perform uh, 143 divided by 11. Okay, these are the two numbers we are going to take. Uh, so 143, 143 can be represented as 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. If you have any doubt, you can check. And uh, 11 will be represented as 1, 0, 1, 1. And uh, 11th two's complement will be 2's uh, so complement can be calculated as 0, 1, 0, 0, plus 1, and that is equal to 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay? And this 0, 1, 0, 1, we are going to store in M. Okay, now what we have is, uh, this will be stored in AQ. So AQ will be equal to This number one zero 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 one 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 one. Okay, both registers. See here what we have is Q register of four bits, A register of four bits. <coughs> Okay, so in this case, n is equal to 4. That's why we have to go for 4 steps. Uh, see, we are going to consider uh, number of bits in Q register. Okay. Uh, and M will be, M will contain M is equal to 0, 1, 0, 1. That is, it's, it is whose complement of our divisor. Now uh, let's revise again. This is your dividend. Okay, this is your divisor. Eleven is your divisor. And uh, now let's start with our uh, algorithm. So at first we uh, have A, and we also have register Q. Okay, and how we are going to store these? Uh, what we are going to store in these two so half part of your aq will together hold your um, dividend okay so this will be stored like this one zero 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 and in q you are going to have one 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 okay now what we are going to do is at the first stage So let's start with first step. At the first step, what we do is uh, we are going to perform a left shift. So this one will be discarded. Okay. So this will be zero zero zero. Uh, this one will be here copied here. Okay. And again uh, here remaining three ones will be copied here one 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 and now we have this last remaining bit q0 okay so we are going to decide what should be here one or zero but when we are going to decide that after we have done uh, a minus m okay so now let's do a minus m and a minus M means we are actually going to add two's complement of uh, your divisor. And we have already stored two's complement of divisor into M. So uh, let's just add this to zero, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, now see what happens. Uh, 
please perform the division with me. Sit with your pen and paper. Oh, sorry, this is not actually completed. Uh, we are just still continuing the step. So one plus one will be. <clears throat> one plus one will be zero. Then uh, and carry will be generated. So zero plus one will be one. Then again, zero plus one will be one. And uh, last bit will be zero. So this will be your result. Zero, one, one, zero. Now check this bit, MSB, that this is zero. That means the number is positive. And when the number is positive, uh, what we do is we set this Q0 bit to one. Okay, so we are going to set this Q0 bit to one. So uh, here again, we will have one, 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 okay? So this in this way, our first step is completed. So this was our first step. Now let's go to our second step. So in second step, what we do is first shift. So this zero will be discarded. So we have one, one, zero. Uh, this one will be copied here. Then again, uh, we have remaining three ones, one, one, one. And we have to calculate this last bit, Q0 bit, whether it should be zero or one. Okay, uh, so again, what we are going to do is we are going to perform A minus M, that is add two's complement of 11 so let's add that so this will be 0 1 0 1 now perform the addition so this will be one plus one will be zero carry one so zero plus one will be one then again one plus one will be zero carry will be generated one plus one will be again zero and again carry will be generated but that will be ignored as you cannot store the carry here now uh, again see this msb msb is zero so what we are going to do is we are going to set uh, this q0 bit to 1 so again we have 1 1 1 1 okay uh, and this in this way we are done with our second step remember we have to perform four steps so this is our second step um, let's go to third step Again, in third step, we have, uh, you have to shift. So this will be, uh, so this zero will be discarded. So zero, one, zero, this uh, one from this side will come here. Okay. And uh, then these three ones will be covered here. One, one, one. And again, you have to decide about this q0 bit whether it should be one or zero uh, now again let's add 0 1 0 1 which is whose complement of our divisor zero one zero one So this result will be one plus one will be zero. Carry one zero plus one will be one. Uh, one plus one will be zero, and carry will be generated. 
zero plus one will be one. Now, here you can see the MSB is one. That means your result is negative. So what you have to do is you have to set the Q zero bit to zero and restore this. Uh, and how you are going to restore it? You have to add your divisor to it. So I'm going to add the divisor. Divisor is one zero one one. Okay, let's see what happens. So this will be zero plus one will be one. And again, one plus one will be zero. Where carry will be generated. One again, one plus one will be zero. Okay, so the contents are restored. Okay, and this bit will be set to zero. So we have one, 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 and zero. Now one last step is again remaining. Uh, I'm going to continue here. Uh, just please try to understand. So again, uh, la at the last step, we are going to shift this to the left. Okay, so this will be one zero one, and this this one will be also here. Okay, and uh, then here uh, one one zero will be there remaining and this q0 bit will be we have to decide now again add a 0 1 0 1 to this this is the contents of a these are the contents of q okay now just add 0 one zero one. What is the answer? One plus one is zero. Then carry will be generated. One plus one will be again zero. Carry will be generated. One plus one will be zero. Again, carry generated one plus one will be again zero and carry generated, uh, which should be ignored. Okay, and uh, as you can see, this bit is zero, MSB is zero. That means you have to set uh, this Q zero bit to one. So the contents of Q will now be one, one, zero, and one. As there are four bits in Q, we have performed this this step four times one two three and this is our last now this is your answer see in a you have your remainder so remainder is zero 143 is completely divisible divisible by 11 and this is your answer so 1101 means uh, that is actually 13 so as you can see 11 multiplied by 13 will be your 140 I hope the algorithm is clear to you now. Uh, and uh, this is your homework. Take any two numbers and perform the division by using this uh, restoring division method. This is called as restoring division method. And if you don't complete the homework you will have problems so just take any two numbers right now uh, after you have you are done watching this video and perform the division of these two numbers and uh, as you can see um, we have limitations so if you want to perform division of two bigger numbers or two greater numbers then uh, you are again going to have to increase the number of bits as we have uh, already discussed uh, in case of boot cell algorithm. If you want to perform multiplication for uh, bigger numbers, you need to increase the number of bits. OK, 
okay so that goes uh, same goes for division also okay we'll stop here